Hey everybody, it's Femtrooper, and today I'm going to be talking about my most wanted Switch 2 sequels. None of us know what the next Nintendo console is actually going to be called. I'm sure it's going to be very similar to the Switch, but just better graphics, better performance, etc, etc. I think it's going to be very similar just, you know, a better version of the Switch. And I'm so excited. And so that means I want to get some great sequels. We got so many games over the last little bit on the Wii U and the Switch. And I just feel like the Switch 2 has room to have some of the best games ever. And the games I want to talk about today are just sequels to games that we've already gotten that I think, you know, we need. Of course, before we get into the video, please make sure you're subscribed if you're not. Click like and tell me what sequels you want to see on the next Nintendo console. Let's start off the list with a game that I am dying for. The fact that we don't have one on the Switch yet is just awful. It's just, I can't even believe it. And that is a new Donkey Kong Country game. The last true Donkey Kong Country game we got was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Wii U. They just ported it to the Switch and that's great. I'm glad people got to experience it that way, but we actually don't have a new one. We haven't had a new Donkey Kong Country game for like a decade. So, you know, if we're going to get one, fine, put it on the next Nintendo console. I don't know how an entire generation of Nintendo consoles didn't get one. That's mind-blowing. To me, Donkey Kong Country is some of the best fast-paced platforming you can get. It's amazing. I almost like it more than the Super Mario series. So I am just dying for a new one. I love all the characters in it. They're all unique. They're all interesting. You know, they have so much to work with, you know, over the last 30 plus years with the, the character. Like, it's, 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 it's a crime that we don't have a new Donkey Kong Country game. So please, Nintendo, please, please, you know, launch, whatever, give us a new one. Here's one that is a little bit more niche, but I know a lot of people have really fallen in love with the game lately, and I know I've talked about it a lot, but that would be Harvestella. I think we should get a Harvestella 2. The game doesn't necessarily scream sequel at the end, but that doesn't mean you can't have something similar in that world like a Final Fantasy Dragon Quest where it's like new characters but you know has the same world has the same type of enemies that kind of thing because Harvestella was an incredible game and it was so much more than farming or whatever so it's definitely cool it's sci-fi it had a really nice looking open world the game is beautiful I know it wasn't a triple A game but it was still Square Enix and it was really well done everything about it from the characters to the story to the gameplay my goodness, the, everything, everything was good about Harvestella. I, I really, really, truly think more people should play it. And to get a sequel or to get something in that world would just be fabulous. Of course, it's probably going to happen or it'll be called something else. But we definitely need a Super Mario Odyssey 2. Yes, we do. Now, on my channel, I never talk about Super Mario Odyssey. And the reason being is... I'm sorry to say, I've actually never beaten it. I never ever finished Super Mario Odyssey and I know I need to change that. That's really bad on my part, really bad. Uh, and if I'm honest, it didn't like blow my mind, but I do like that style of game for platforming. I do like 2D side-scrolling platforming the best, but I do really enjoy, you know, the 3D style as well. So I, I do think they'll obviously do it. It's their biggest IP, really. I mean, it's the most famous video game character in the world. So yeah, obviously they're going to make a new Mario game, but I'm just really excited because I feel like, you know, take everything from Odyssey, make it even better, maybe do some kind of a hybrid, uh, make it like a 3D world, have, you know, incorporate that stuff. That would be fantastic. So yeah, I don't ever talk about it. It's on my backlog. It's, it's one. It's a game that I would like to go back to and just finish one day. I, I don't know why it didn't. At this point, I'd want to just restart it, see what I really truly think. Definitely something maybe in the next couple of years I'd like to get around to. But yeah, let's see a brand new Odyssey 2. Now, of course, we're going to see The Legend of Zelda on the Switch 2 or whatever it's called. Obviously, we're gonna see something, but we got Breath of the Wild, we got Tears of the Kingdom, and those weren't really my style of Zelda game. So what I want is a true sequel 
to something uh, either that exists already or something brand new. So let's get a brand new Legend of Zelda game that's like top down. So, you know, we don't, ne not necessarily a remake. It would be great if we got a remake of Link to the Past or we got a sequel to Link Between Worlds or Link's Awakening, something like that. But those style of Zelda games, I want a new one of those. You know, Tears of the Kingdom, great, sure, I, everyone loves it. But for me, my style of Zelda is more of that Link's Awakening style. And the way they made it look on the Switch was gorgeous, so let's get a new one of those. I know that people love it. It's one of my favorite Switch games, actually, is the, the Link's Awakening remake on the Switch. It's so great, and I just want more of that. I love the top-down Zelda. I love doing all the dungeons. I love exploring and checking out different areas on the map. It's, it's so old school and fun, and yeah, I don't care. I look up stuff. I get guides because it's just so fun to be immersed in it. I really like that style of Zelda, so let's get a new one. A surprise game that I ended up loving that I didn't think I would was Triangle Strategy and I think we need a Triangle Strategy 2. And like I said it doesn't have to be the same characters it could just be the same world and it could be a completely new story kind of like Octopath with Octopath Traveler 2 do that because those games are really popular and Triangle Strategy was fantastic. To me it was really 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 great storytelling. I was hooked the whole time. Every chapter had like you know, jaw-dropping moments and made me so excited for more that I'm like, give me more fun strategy games like that that are accessible because it was very much accessible. If you're, you suck at strategy games, don't worry. That one was a good one because you could be, you know, really good and up the difficulty or you could just be awful at them or a beginner and, and, had, and lower the difficulty. So it was a really great game for everybody and super fun characters. I mean, the game is also gorgeous. I love this, you know, resurgence of the 16-bit era where they're making it kind of the 2D, 3D thing. It's just fantastic. And Triangle Strategy was so much fun. I really got into it, actually. It was just a fun time. This next one is a game that I've actually wanted for, like, ever. Like, my whole life, I've basically wanted it. And I feel like, while it may not ever happen, I do think we're closer to actually getting it. So, that would be Super Mario RPG. The reason why is because we actually got Super Mario RPG as a remake on the Switch. And as far as I know, it's done pretty well and lots of people love it. So I feel like because of the love for it and the fact that we've all kind of told Nintendo, yeah, we love this game, maybe they're more likely to actually make a sequel. That in combination with the fact that Paper Mario is also doing really well, I feel like take the two, we've got Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door that's just recently come out and people are really loving that and we also love Super Mario RPG, it's like give us another one but give us a brand new one. No remakes, nothing, just a brand new awesome Super Mario RPG 2. I really, really, truly think that it could happen. I mean, it could. I didn't think we were gonna get a Super Mario RPG remake on the Switch. The fact that they did the remake makes me think like, hey, were they testing the waters? Like, okay, you know, green light on that Super Mario RPG too. Please, please, please. I would absolutely love to see that because I have loved that game since it came out on the Super Nintendo and I loved it on the Switch. Fantastic remake. And it's like, oh my gosh, we might actually get a sequel now because it's done so well, why not? And lastly, a game that I'm hoping we get, and it's possible, is a true full Bowser's Fury game. This was a game that they put out with the remake of Super Mario 3D World, and then it was and Bowser's Fury. And Bowser's Fury, like that part, was a, it was a, it was a full game, but it was a small game, and I feel like let's make a real true like Bowser's Fury 2, or just Bowser's Fury, you know, insert title here kind of thing. It would be great. Bowser's Fury was so much more than I expected. It wasn't just some little add-on. It was a great game and it was kind of like platforming, but just everything at once. It was, you know, there was every single aspect. It was 3D, it was 2D, it was so many different creative things going on. Great music, great everything. I really, really enjoyed it. It was kind of a neat, you know, one big open world, but different areas to go do things in. It was fantastic. It was a really, really, really good add-on and I feel like it deserves its own game. And I'm hoping it gets the Captain Toad treatment where Captain Toad was originally like, you know, a little thing in Super Mario 3D World and then he got his own full game. So let's give Bowser's Fury a chance and hope that it gets its full, full game like it deserves.
So what sequels do you guys want to see on the Switch 2? Because there were so many great Switch games and still many Switch games to come. And I'm so excited to see what is actually going to be, you know, a launch title on the new Nintendo console. We're going to get it next year, I'm sure. It's pretty exciting. I don't know really anything about it. I, I just love the anticipation of trying to guess and figure out what they're going to do. There's so many series out there, so many properties that they could make sequels to. Obviously, games that have three and four, you could make a fifth one or a sixth one. But these were just ones that came to mind for me that I'm like, that would be great. I would be full on smiling if we got those. I would just be, you know, over the moon. But man, there are so many others, like more Xenoblade Chronicles, who knows? We never know, you might get more of those. You know, a Luigi's Mansion 4, that would be great. I mean, more Kirby, please, more Kirby, because all the Kirby games on the Switch have been really, really great. I mean, there's so many games. They might make another Princess Peach game. I mean, it's kind of endless. Obviously, we're gonna get more Pokemon. There's so much for them to make. But these are the ones that I've been like, yeah, come on, come on. I'm just, I'm really like, fingers crossed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video.